had a chance to talk to one of the pilots that escaped back here, so I took it. Apparently, two of our planes took the enemy on alone. They covered the Allies so they could retreat. The hell kind of idiot does a thing like that? The last pilot to land back at the base was that scrawny anarchist dude. He always had this dumb grin on his face. Like he didn't give a damn about whatever he did to get thrown in here with the rest of us. Was he the one who went gung-ho? I bought him a drink later. After the usual small talk, I turned the topic around to the mission. For an anarchist, he struck me as a bit weird. Nothing like what I expected. He talked a mile a minute and kept going on and on about library books. Not encyclopedias, those cheesy adventure novels you read in high school. Nothing against those. I like a good story myself once in a while. But I wasn't here to talk books. Uh, I remember that day well. Amidst the swirling clouds, a fighter squadron was trying to help its allies reach safety. He's pretty foolish, isn't he? I thought so too. Suddenly, a highly skilled enemy fighter squadron appeared and began picking them off at the edges. One by one, they fell right out of the sky. Although, I guess there was nobody around that was even more foolish to go to their aid then. So you simply watch things unfold from a distance. Yeah. I mean, who would have ever thought that I'd just go and follow them straight into the enemy squadron like that? After what felt like decades, I finally got to the info I was looking for. He wasn't the guy. He said he was just following his wingman's lead and managed not to die somehow. The hero on this mission was the new guy. The one that killed Harling. <laughs> How did you feel? I'm still kind of shaken up, actually. But you know, I do feel a certain sense of pride, too. He really is foolish, isn't he? Yep, he sure is. I went to the hangar to have myself a closer look at Trigger's plane. I knew that burnt smell. That's what happens when an engine's been driven to its limit. This pilot was a hot dog. From now on, I was gonna keep my eye on this idiot. From a distance, though. I didn't want to get too tight with someone who was a better pilot than my dad. Even so, I decided to give this guy's plane a little bit of the old Avril magic touch. He needed all the help he could get. Attention! If you disobeyed orders in the previous mission, line up over there. You won't disobey a second time. Do not test my patience. The biggest threat to our forces is the enemy's enormous swarm of drones. In order for our forces to penetrate deep into Arusian territory, we'll need to clear a path. You will destroy the enemy's fuel plant. HQ has found evidence that fuel is being moved intermittently inland from a refinery at the harbor in Artiglio. It's likely they're supplying fuel for the various drone bases. Those of you whose food privileges were taken away already know how this goes. We silence the drones by taking their fuel. Enter via the estuary, take out their AA, destroy the fuel points on both sides of the river and their oil tankers. Remember, you're not bona fide military. You're expendable.
convicts, stand by at the front. Champ went down crying like a baby. I knew he was all bark and no bite. <laughs> the coward. You don't want to talk, running off with your tail between your legs. I wasn't running away, I was retreating. Well, I can't say I blame you. It was hell out there. Man, I'm not in the mood for this shit today. I'm gonna blow stuff up to let off steam. Target in sight. I see a lot of oil tanks. Boats, or warships. There's plenty of buildings, too. Destroy everything in sight. I appreciate the simplicity of the operation. We don't look like the military. The you think you look anything like military? Mark 2. Oh, you well and truly started. Damn! That's what I call fireworks. Yeah! I've got more bad news. The Megastorm and Nessa 2 that formed a few days ago is approaching our AO. No time to smell the roses then. A fighter pilot needs to fight. Missions like this are too easy. Another one pop. Big man. Burn, bitches. Are you guys all nuts? I thought it was one of you was saying. This beast is stuck in the field, babe. I'm spiked. I'll shake you. Protect the fuel storage. That's what the anti air guns are for. I'm spying. 
Spike! I'll shake him! Somebody help! <laughs> Jobs like this any day. Megastorm and SM2 is about to arrive. Right, bring out the trucks. Make sure their routes are split. Take every drop of fuel you can carry. It looks like some oil tankers loaded with oil got away. HQ saw them on satellite. Burn down everything that turns up. Why are they popping on and off of radar? Sand clouds. Sand breaks up here and there. That's when radar picks them up. If you detect something, strike fast. Staring at my radar and trolling? This is not my style. Even in sand, you can lock on if you get close enough. Are you sure you can trust that intel? Too easy for you to say. Do whatever you want. I'm going off by myself. Okay, if you think that's for the best. Got one on radar. Moving. Nothing but sand and rock. Nice place to build a prison. We can toss you in it as soon as it's up. Keep 
going. Burn it all. The weapon system's acting up. I can't fight like this. I'm gonna break off. There he goes, running away. And he's who drew the drones here. Say what you want. Fuck with you to arrest. Allied aircraft down by a UAV. Pipe down and keep your mind on the mission, full band. We gotta get those UAVs. Shut the hell up. This has nothing to do with me. You guys are celebrating, but I don't hear anyone saying all targets have been taken down. Huh? Five minutes remaining. You can't stick around forever. Find those targets. Spare 15, target destroyed. One more truck down. Drop them all. Damn it, I've got one on my back. Mission was a success. There's nothing else I need to say. Dismissed. So it looks like we're getting attention from above. If any credit is due, it should come to me. Prisoners deserve nothing. <laughs>